Hello, my name is Xu Jingli. I'm a postgraduate student at China University in China. Now, let me share the slides. The paper I will be presenting today is titled Investor Attention, Carbon Dioxide Emissions, and Stock Return. Now, let's go to the part one. Introduction. The AR6 synthesis report on 2023 given by Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change shows that a growing recognition of the periods associated with climate change, which has also resulted in a surge in awareness that is particularly notable in the finance industry, particularly within the stock market. In this research, I analyze the relationship between carbon dioxide emissions and stock return. Moreover, I take industry and investor attention into account. The research question is the first one, um, whether carbon dioxide emissions is significant to be the price in or not. The second one, is there's difference between phone sample and specific industries. The third one, whether there is effective measure to help us predict the stock returns related to the carbon dioxide emissions better. There are three conflict wheels on carbon dioxide emissions and stock returns. The first wheel is that investors ignore climate change risk. A global survey for well-known institutional investors um, su suggests that climate risks and environmental risks still rank behind of traditional financial risks, uh, operating governments in social risks. So investors may be now to fully integrate this risk into their uh, investment consideration. Therefore, the carbon dioxide emissions are hard to be priced. The second well is that investors prefer sustainable investing. High green demands drive green asset prices. Similarly, a low investor demand for shocks uh, for stocks of companies associated with high emissions again making green stocks outperform. The third wheel is high carbon dioxide emissions presents higher stock return for risk premium. Firms with higher carbon dioxide emissions have higher supervisory punishment risk and investors require a risk premium for holding stocks of high carbon dioxide emissions um, emitters. High carbon dioxide emissions presents higher stock return than green firms. My contribution is the first one document that um, investors care about the carbon dioxide emissions under specific industries um, as the following at least here. And I will give the reason in part two. And the second one is suggest investors' preference to green assets. Uh, investors' preference for green assets drives its demand up and directly increase uh, green asset prices. The last one shed light on the effect of investor attention. Only those firms that are focused by investors are priced in the stock market about carbon dioxide emissions. Part two is about research design. Generally, the carbon dioxide emissions is classified into three categories based on their sourced by a greenhouse gas protocol. The scope one is about direct emissions or, or controlled by company. Scope two is indirect emissions that result from the consumption of purchased energy. And the scope three is all other indirect emissions associated with um, company's operations. Mm, my data of carbon dioxide emission is from true cost, which is only provided that all that reports all three scopes. And the stock returns is from CRISP. And I also classify the industry into strong and weak environmental sensitive industries. And I expect that relation between uh, carbon dioxide emission and the stock return is more significant in strong environmental sensitive industries. 
Uh, the investor attention is from the website of Seeking Narva, uh, where all uh, analysis in analysis column. And it's, mm, to be honest, it used to be long stocks on stock idea columns. So if they are posted articles, I put it into the investor attention group. And for the others, uh, around 85% firms in match the return months do not have posted seeking alpha articles. And I put it into the non-investor attention group. And I expect that relation between carbon dioxide emissions and stock return is more significant in strong environmental sensitive industries. Here is about the sample period. And the method I take is the low minus high portfolio that long stocks in the bottom carbon dioxide emissions quantile and the short stocks in the top quantile of carbon dioxide emissions. Here is about the descriptive analysis. And now let's move on to the results part three. Here is about the result of full sample carbon dioxide emission and the stock return. And um, we can see that the carbon dioxide emissions can't predict subsequent stock returns because I couldn't find any significant result, right? So um, there must be other factors impact the relationship of carbon dioxide emission and the stock return. So in this paper, I introduced two uh, influential factors. The first one is industry differences uh, containing strong and weak environmental sensitive industry. And the second one is about the investor attention containing investor attention group and the non-investor attention group. Here is about um, the result of carbon emissions and stock returns based on industry group. Um, the result of carbon dioxide emission is, is uh, in strong environmental sensitive industry is significantly negative with stock returns in excess return. And then this table presents the investor attention and stock return of carbon dioxide emissions. Um, we can see that in panel A uh, presents a uh, it presents a significant negative relationship between them. And in, in contrast, uh, for panel B, firms in strong environmental sensitive uh, industries without the investor attention, the profits of this strategy are not significantly uh, negative. Uh, in addition, I do not observe any significant uh, relationship in panel C and panel D we can see this graph, this test is about the weak environmental sensitive industries, right? And next, I further examine the impact of investor attention um, on phone sample. The results in panel A uh, further support a significantly negative relationship between them, yeah. And finally, um, the accumulated return of all category shows that the sustainable growth uh, in these two groups. Yeah. And additionally, I also conduct some robustness tests um, and the results still hold. Now let's go to the uh, last part Find part five conclusion. This paper finds that first one, the carbon dioxide emissions are not priced in based on phone sample. And the second one, long short portfolio in strong environmental sensitive industries is significant in excess return. The third one, the investor attention's uh, effect, effect on the relation between uh, them the, the last one, the long short strategy returns in strong environmental sensitive industries is higher than that of a phone sample by an excess return of 0.27% per month. Okay, uh, this is the end of my speech. Thank you very much for listening. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Bye.